but he'll be 20 here in September. Since two weeks after his owner, Martin Durham, was killed in his home, Bud has repeated it over and over. <laughs> the African Grey Parrot is now owned by Durham's first wife, who had owned it with him before they got divorced. <laughs> yeah. Boy, and that's Marty's voice. That's Marty used to always say that to my kids. She says the bird often talks in Martin Durham's voice. At least a few times a week, she says, it seems to replay the murder. It's intense when it happens. It, my house turns cold. Durham was shot five times in his home in May 2015. His wife, Glenna, survived a bullet wound to the head. Now she's identified in police reports as a suspect in a murder and attempted suicide. He was there to see it all, and he heard it. He, it imprinted in his brain. He can't let it go, and that's awful. Bud won't perform in front of an audience. While we didn't catch much on our camera, we did hear him utter an expletive off camera. Isn't it all possible that he could have heard it on television? Well, maybe, but he's using Marty's voice. <laughs> The Nuego County prosecutor says he has no plans to use the parrot in court. That's no surprise to a local legal expert, Muskegon attorney Michael Walsh. He says there's no way to prove what that bird is mimicking. How did it get there? And there's no reliable way of, of making that determination that uh, you can't rule out that the bird witnessed homicide or that the bird witnessed something on TV. I mean, I don't think he would be able to help the case. But I think it puts, I don't know how to describe it, it puts the emotion out there, like, you know, there's a dead man. Ken Coker reporting, the prosecutor has told us that he...